women and girls. My name is Dr. Vesna Lem and I'm on mission to tell you how important our vagina is. Every life on this earth is starting with her. But I've realized this is still such a taboo topic. I'm going to teach you how healthy vagina feels, how it smells, how it tastes. As a medical doctor, I have treated many thousand patients or women with vaginal issues. I also have done my PhD about. Now I want to spread this knowledge and experience to all of you, all over the world. So what does it mean, healthy vagina? We should start from our own feelings. Our greatest gift is the intuition, the ability to feel our body, not only with the five senses. We should listen to our body, but the society and almost all cultures of the world are suppressing or suppressed for a long, long time in a history this. And we haven't been also taught by our mothers or grandmothers how the healthy vagina feels like. You should have no pain, no irritation, no discomfort in any circumstances in your vagina and low abdomen. You should not have pain or discomfort during or after sex. No irritation or burning during urination. Even during your period where it's normal to have some uterus contractions, you shouldn't have that strong pain that you need to take a painkillers. If you urinate more than two times, or even two times is too often at night, this could be indication there is something wrong. You could have some infection in vagina or even in gut or influencing your bladder. If it comes to bladder, we should really be aware of chlamydia. Almost 20% of sexually active women have or had chlamydia infection at least once. All of us women shouldn't have so much discharge that we have to change our underwear more than once a day. If you need to use pads because of discharge, that could be too much or it could be due to some infection you have. I'll give you my own experience. Until 40, I had to change the pets while I was traveling at least three times a day. I didn't know this is not normal. I had to do this and I didn't know that anything is wrong with me. But during my PhD work I examined my vaginal flora as well and found out that I have infection called bacteriella vaginosis. When I treated that afterwards and now I don't need to change my underwear more than once a day, even if I'm traveling for many, many days and also even if I am not having all utilities to wash myself. So I'm really feeling so comfortable now and you can as well. You should not have any eating.
if you have, that could be indicator that you can overgrowth of vaginal yeast. The smell of our vagina is very important. So it should be a smell a little bit like a cider, also taste. We have these bacteria which are, are our immunity and they are making uh, this acidity which uh, is very important to us. You can also measure it by a pharmacy, a pH measurement strips and see is it in a normal range. The trouble with smelling is our receptors are um, from smelling adapting to what we are get used to every day and sometimes we are not able to smell it on our own especially if you have it for the long term. Try to feel free and talk normally about with your boyfriend, your husband, or other friends, maybe female friend, um, about that. And you can you, you really take a little bit of your vaginal fluid and smell and also give to each other to see, is it okay? The doctors in the past and also now are usually doing this. Why we shouldn't do that? If you don't feel okay and your gynecologist is saying everything is fine, then I would really uh, suggest to you to be your own detective. Don't rely on the doctors. Try on your own to come to the root, to the root of your problem. My own story. During the pregnancy with my daughter, I was feeling there is something wrong down there. I felt some contractions. But when I went to the doctor, they always said, this is everything okay. But I didn't trust the doctor meaning. I trusted my feelings. And I went again and again. So when I went fifth time, they found that I have chlamydia infection. And at that time I had already started to have really strongly premature contractions. We've been treating my chlamydia infections and with this treatment, I saved my daughter to become a premature baby. I would never forget, my husband was a doctor in a hospital, bringing me in England in the same hospital to the gynecologist. He was working in a um, surgery department, but he knows all of the doctors. And he was really so ashamed to go with me inside again fifth time and already fourth four times they are saying me everything is fine he's telling me i bring you to the hospital but i am waiting in a car because i'm really ashamed in front of my colleagues that i have so such a strong hypoch hypochondrial uh, wife really can't emphasize enough how important it is that you listen to your body and you decide and you you keep pers being persistent because there are so many cases like mine now that you can really mm, save a life like I have done with my daughter. If you have the problems who are waking you up at night, this is a very strong indicator. This is not only in your head, which is very often 
um, set. any of these symptoms. It's time to make your yoni number one in your life. Take our full course and learn how you can become healthy down there. Or you can do it just provincially to learn about in the case you need it. It's always useful to be good informed before you go to your gynecologist. But always remember everything what I'm saying doesn't replace your doctor. Everything what I'm teaching you should be helping you to get more in touch with yourself and to inform your doctors and then you are able as a team to make the best healing procedure for you. The more knowledge you have, the better your doctors can treat you. Some doctors are saying uh, this could be only in your head because they don't find anything. But I can tell you this is very rarely the case. You should keep trying and persisting to share your symptoms until you found something. Where that despite of a really advanced medical institution, vaginal exams are still not comprehensive enough. In a medical history, where we are often finding a new things which we didn't know they are existing before. So if you feel there is something wrong down there, keep going to the various doctor. While you are not giving up, don't stress yourself. This is important. Give your diamond love, relaxation and attention which it deserves. This is the message of your vaginal doctor, Vesna Lem. See you.